Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you stopped by to check out the channel, check out the video. Um, wanted to highlight a uh, company, and before you go anywhere else, I want you to take a second, and in the description is a GoFundMe page for a very hardworking American-made company that is having some struggles, and they really do need our help as much as possible. The reason I wanted to start this off this way is one, I know this gentleman very well and asking for, you know, help is, is challenging from a man's point that it's trying to just provide for his family. I also seen while Survive Knives was going through their crap, a lot of people like, uh, you know, Chris Reeves and, oh, the everyday carry guy and them talking about how they, if Chris would ever, or if uh, Survive would have ever came to them and asked them about things, they would have helped them out. Well, hopefully this can get out to some folks that are willing to take time to help out Very Good Knife Company and Jacob and his wife and his family to be able to keep a shop running so he can keep livelihood and food on the table it is a rough time right now for a lot of people in our economy. Yeah, a lot of people are struggling, and it's a challenge. Money's money's tight, and I get it. But if you could go down to the GoFundMe page and chip them in five bucks, ten bucks, that would be fantastic. And I want to show you some of the quality of work that Jacob does because I'm I'm in love with it. I mean, it's really reasonably priced equipment or really reasonably priced knives at an exceptional quality and just fantastic. You know, it's, it's, it's not hard to get good knives this day and age. It's pretty easy to get a good knife this day and age. It's not hard to get American made knives this day and age. There's, there's a lot of them. And, and that's one great thing about, you know, the knife community is there's been it's one of the few industries that I probably talk the most about that has actually taken charge of trying to keep, you know, money in our own economy and trying to search out local materials from the USA and stuff. But let's be honest, not all materials can easily be found in the USA. Um, I work in a maintenance repair and supply company and we do try to get as much as we can USA made but some things are just impossible I mean last I knew there was no USA phone uh, manufacturer or electronics so I get that not everything can be done stainless steel can be a challenge in the USA aluminum rivets can be a huge challenge there's there's a lot of materials that just are not you know readily available anymore but when an industry can uh, keep as much USA made as possible, and they do so, I respect that. I, I respect trying to, you know, do as much as much as you can locally. I mean, if my neighbor was a knife maker, I would probably buy from them. Or if there's a knife maker in my town, I'd probably buy from them four to one, just because I would like to keep my dollar as close to home as I can. It's you know, it helps them. It helps the community that they're in and stuff, and it helps. If they're trying to get things locally as well, it keeps that dollar circulating as long as it can in the economy. With that said, um, these knives are just really, really well built. They're fantastic. I've showed them off in multiple things. Um, you know, just a very solid, well built, well designed knives. They aren't complicated you know they're straight to the point of what they're intended for Let's see if i can get this to focus i have challenges with focusing guys so please forgive me um but yeah this is one of his newer laser engraved ones that he has let's see if i can just put this to focus in a better spot for me here <laughs> yeah we're getting a little better and I appreciate everybody's patience and stuff on my inability 
to work with a knife. But I have some of his in Nitro V, or this one's in Nitro V, the rest are in ADCRV2. But he just does very, very detailed work, very, you know, thoughtful work. And you can tell that he puts a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into these. He has a good skill, and he has what seems to be a very repeatable process, which makes it more efficient for him, I'm sure. Um, so as far as a company goes, I don't know how he is on manufacturing right now for knives. Um, I know that his shop, he's having to move and stuff like that. He's in, in White County, Georgia. So if you happen to know of a shop down there or any place that he could set up, um, it'd be appreciated or a home or anything like that. But this, this family's in need. It's in need of help from the EDC community. It's in need of help from, you know, people who just want to see somebody who thrives to bring a good quality American product to, you know, normal working class people. He doesn't go off and try to do only extravagant knives. He has the ability to. He's done some customs with Very Good Knife Company. He used to do a lot of customs before Very Good Knife Company. I've seen some of his work, and it's absolutely fabulous. But for, you know, me, a working class guy who, you know, I, I do have a few knives that I probably won't use, but most of my knives are in that working class or slightly just slightly higher, depends on your perspective, of a knife. You know, this was the most expensive one that I bought from him, and it was still under $200. This is, you know, a really good, solid, fantastic knife for that price point to get something equal. I, I've paid a lot more for less, you know, but still happy with the quality of product that I've gotten. You compare this to an LT right, and a lot of times these are more equal um, they're just a little bit more refined than LT knives, and LT knives are phenomenal. They, you can't take anything away from them, and even and they aren't overly priced either. I think LT Wright's another fantastic USA-made company focused on the USA products and trying to, you know, give back to their own economy, which is fantastic. But just wanted to bring that out. Short little minute or 10 minute video, just kind of show these out and just reach out. Um, like I said, I don't know if he's doing much for production right now, but you're welcome to give him a call and stuff. Let me get a QR code here on the screen for you guys. This is his card. Let's see, make sure that I get that in there, but check out his webpage, shoot him an email, give him a call. Very good knife company. Just you know, really, really good guy to work with. Um, like this one here, just last week I asked him to make me that one just because I wanted to support him as much as I could and I'd wanted one of those. So I went ahead and got one now just, just because, you know, I, I want to try to help the guy out as much as I can. And I hope this video finds as many people as possible that are willing to help. Go down to the GoFundMe. I'm not asking you to give a thousand dollars, but you know, if everybody gave five bucks, ten bucks, just something to help get him going. I know he has a couple of issues that he could use some help with, and by golly, we we can help our we can help our neighbor. You know, he may not be physically my neighbor, but mentally and you know his way of wanting to do things, I agree with, and I, I hope that. You'll take the time and help support him a little bit just by me asking. Thank you and have a blessed day.